Uh, we hope so. We also added Will Compton, a guy that uh, has played a lot in the league. We'll try to bring them both up to speed and also special teams is a big part of this. So we'll uh, try to get them both ready to play. Do you have a time frame on Rodney and how much time you expect no. him to? We don't have much uh, other than he's uh, in there getting rehab and hopefully he gets better soon. We sure need him. Is Ansi a possibility for this week? Or? I'm not ruling him out, you know, but he's uh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Andre James uh, hurt also. No, he's got an ankle sprain. He didn't practice either. So we signed uh, Eric Magnuson as center, and Richie Incognito as a center also. So um, we'll be ready to go. Is it an ankle sprain for both Rodney and for Andre? Yeah, that's what we're calling him, yes. I mean, the MRIs, and I don't have the exact, uh, uh, I don't have the exact uh, description technically, but we're calling them ankle sprains. Coach, now that it's over with, what was the most challenging part of that long road trip, being on the road for so long and away from Oakland? Explaining it to my wife and friends <laughs> and everybody in this league that's never done it. You know, I hope they do it to everybody in our division next year. I think every team should have an opportunity to go on the road for six weeks. <laughs> Somebody had a great idea for us to do it. I think everybody ought to do it next year. Okay. More guys? So be a travel. Travel agency, you get double dip that way. If you get book everybody's travel. Yeah, no, it was it was tough. Honestly, it was tough. It was uh, it was it's tough because they weren't you know close trips. They were overseas trips. They were you know across the country trips. Every one of them. So it was a challenge, but it allowed our team to bond and spend some time together. And we benefited from it. And I really was proud of our guys the way they competed. Just a little sarcasm there is all it was. Uh, having a little fun. Get back to back games against real top-notch quarterbacks and, and that were hard to stop. And now you got Stafford this week. How, how, how well is he playing right now? Yeah, he's playing good, man. He's, uh, he's playing really well. You got to credit Daryl Bevel, the new offensive coordinator. They're doing a lot of things. There are right. multiple no-back formations. They sprinkle the no-huddle in there. They have some really good play-action passes. And Stafford can scramble, and he is really a talented player, man. And Galladay's coming on, and Marvin Jones is a problem, and they drafted a really good tight end. So um, they're doing they're doing a lot of good things. And uh, defensively, you know, their stats might say something, but they've seen Aaron Rodgers and Mahomes, and you know, they've seen uh, some of the top quarterbacks in football also. So we're over hands full. John, I'm sure that last game stung, but you you come back from that long odyssey and. You guys aren't far out of the, out of the mix. You're you're in there. Like, do you do you feel that by winning a couple games on the trip, you set yourselves up to you know be in the thick and maybe well, we make feel it like here? we're pretty good. I feel like we're getting better. You know, that's all we can control. We're just going to try to keep getting better every day. We would have liked to have the last win, but you know, there's a lot of teams in this league right now that are just hanging on. You know, it's 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 a tough business. We got a lot of injuries. We've had to endure some tough some tough deals, but uh, I love this team. I like the way we're competing. I see improvement, and uh, hopefully we get some healthy bodies for this game because we need them. Talking about the injuries with the centers, would, would Magnuson be a guy that's ready to go on Sunday? I mean, can you get up to speed that quickly with learning everything? Smart guy. He's, uh, you know, he played multiple positions at Michigan. He started a couple games in the NFL. It's a, Incognito can be the center. He's a great player. Incognito can play center. Denzel can play guard. But, um, we just want to get some continuity. The only guy to start every game on the line has been Colton Miller. We've had three different left guards, three different right guards, and three different right tackles, and now uh, potentially three different centers. So when you combine that with the youth at running back, the youth at tight end, and the changing of the guards at wide receiver, it's it's a tough it's tough been tough on Derek. What do you anticipate the uh, atmosphere to be like from the Raider Nation since you guys have been away for so long on Sunday? I hope it's rocking. You know, I hope it is. It's always the same to be. You know, it'll be great to get it home and uh, you know, play play in front of our fans. We can't wait to get out there. How have you seen Derek benefit so far this season from having uh, just improved protection over the last season? Only eight sacks allowed in seven games. I mean, he's um, he's obviously, you know, he's, he's been pinpoint with a lot of throws. He threw some really good balls the other night that really weren't caught either. You know, he threw some great passes down the field. Um, 
He's like any other quarterback in this league. The better the protection, the better the outcome. But he's playing well for us, that's for sure. I know during training camp it took Brandon a while to kind of get back to full strength after the offseason. So what do you see out of him now? Is he is he much more healthy? Well, today's practice wasn't a true gauge. Uh, today we use Wednesdays a little differently than maybe other teams. We try to get a lot more reps at less speed. We try to teach the game plan, let the guys master the plan, and then Thursday we'll put the pads back on and get get our guys flying around on Thursday and Friday. So the big thing is get them reacclimated to the system. There's a lot of communication. You know, the middle linebacker is the quarterback of your defense. So, you know, we lose Burfick, we lost a, a big piece of our communication. And uh, obviously Mark Kelly and now Justin Phillips. So we need, we need Brandon to get the system rewired and uh, we need him to communicate it so he can get ready to go on Sunday. How do you feel of McLean, the defensive tackle you brought in? Yeah, we like McLean. He um, played for my brother in Washington, was a really good one-gap player for the Cowboys, 2016. We think he fits the 4-3. Corey just had some some lingering bouts with his, with his health, and we needed to get one more big body in here that uh, can perhaps help us. And hopefully McLean can, can be a quick study, be ready to go soon. Isaiah Johnson, you brought back off IR this week. Yep. Uh, hopefully, he can play against the Chargers. So, uh, yeah, we uh, we're excited to see him play. We think he's got a big upside. Big. How you guys in the last last couple of games? Have, <clears throat> almost every time you've scored a touchdown, you've gave points right back up. I, how do you? How is that something that you can deal with? Is that just a complimentary football thing, or what? Scream and yell and scream and yell. <laughs> You know, we got the we get the momentum going, and then we can't seem to, um, you know, put all three phases together, and um, it's too bad. You know, but we need to get some turnovers from our defense, some three and out stops, better field position certainly, and um, it'll come, it'll come. We just got to keep staying together. Let's do two you, more guys. How do you two feel more? like Mullen did? In that Pretty game? good. Yeah, he played 58 snaps, and uh, I thought he did some pretty good things. He just got to stay low. Sometimes he has a tendency to get a little bit high in his back pedal and uh, can't do that in this league, not against Matt Stafford. You know, he's looking for you. So he's doing good. He's getting better and he needs to keep playing. And um, I think you'll see gradual improvement from him. Is that it, guys? John, uh, Max, Max Crosby, obviously, you guys liked him or you wouldn't have brought him in, but is is he, uh, did you know he was this complete as a player? You look at his build and you can see he might be that quick edge rusher, but it seems like he does a lot of things for him. He's a great player from the Mid-America Conference. You know, you can't argue with his production that he had there, but he's, his signature is, is, is effort. Not, not many guys in the league play that hard, that long. You know, there's a great player in Houston, J.J. Watt. I'm not comparing him to Watt, but I'm just telling you, Watt plays with incredible down-to-down -down effort. It's amazing, and it's his stamina, it's his conditioning, and. That, those are things that we love about Crosby. He plays as hard as he can play, and he can play a long time at that speed. And that's one of the reasons why he's getting to the quarterback. We'd like to see him get the quarterback down more, um, and I think he will. But it's his stamina and his effort right now that is, is his strength and calling card. And as he continues to improve his arsenal, he's going to be a good player for the Raiders.